The next entrepreneur into the tank tonight is James, with a business idea worth bottling. I'm so excited to present my product to the sharks. We're really shaking up the gifting industry. I have confidence in my product. It's unique. It's working in the market today already, and we're going to unveil it to the rest of Australia. Hi, Sharks. My name is James Willis, and I'm the founder of the Mason Baker Gourmet Jar Cakes. Australians are spending millions of dollars every single year on gifting each other gifts. Whether they're sending flowers, chocolates, or even gifting experiences. But it left me wondering, why is no one really sending cake? Well, there's a very good reason. Let's wind the clock back a year and a half. It's my sister's birthday, and I was struggling to find her a gift. <laughs> So I decided to send her a batch of cupcakes. Now, when they arrived, it was evident that the courier had either tipped the box upside down or chucked them out the back of his van. These cupcakes now resemble pancakes. It was in this moment of sheer disappointment and seeing the look on my sister's face that I knew something had to change. So I went out, I partnered with a celebrity chef, Maggie Beer. Oh, Maggie. And I decided to put cake into a jar and thus the Mason Baker Gourmet Jar Cakes were born. All our jars are handmade and they're intricately laid into glass mason jars, sealed fresh, so they can be shipped to anyone, anywhere in Australia. I'm here today seeking $50,000 for a 15% stake in my business. So sharks, who's ready to grab their spoons and take a bite out of this sweet deal? You may now all have your cakes and eat them too. Ha. All right. Oh, excellent, well done. OK, James, so that's $50,000 for 15%, so you're valuing your business at $333,000. Correct. Hey, James, hey, uh, is Maggie Beer's cake up there? It is. We've got her Christmas pudding jars here. Can I have one of those, please? <laughs> Lovely. I can eat this now, can't I? Oh, good. There's a bit of alcohol in there, so... <laughs> All right. But there's a lot of sugar in it, isn't there? It's cake. What do you expect? It's cake, yeah. It's cake. <laughs> It's, 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 like, it's like a healthy lolly. It doesn't exist. You eat it for a reason. <laughs> Let me get you some more. Jars aren't big enough. No, you screwed up, mate. The jars aren't big enough. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I'll work on that one for you. James, that is magnificent. Thank you very much. Tell us a bit about the journey that got you to wanting to work for yourself. I was working for Coles Supermarkets. I remember first starting my job, I went into stores and they said, where do you want to work? Check out, you know, groceries. And I said, bakery went to bakery and every day I spoke to the bakers, understood who the suppliers were, understood where everything was happening and what money was being made and what was being sold. It's from there and working in a big supermarket at Coles that I realised that that job, although it was fantastic and working with those people was fantastic, I knew I wanted to go on my own and do my own business. So I've always had this vision of sort of really shaking up the gifting industry. You know, there's flowers, everyone's sending that and no one's really sending cupcake. We've been sending cupcakes for years. But not in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> the outcome is the same. They get sweetly presented. The packaging's important, though. As you know, packaging's yeah, but important. We send them beautifully gift boxed. So this is the guy that's going to disrupt the gifting industry. So you better give me some pedigree. So I have no culinary experience whatsoever. What I know is how to get a good group of people together, like being able to partner with a great people like Maggie Beer. Having her behind us with our Christmas pudding things has just been an unbelievable experience. You, you, you believe you've got some marketing edge over the top of other, other people? Correct. When you're in the delivery gifting game, uh, weight is important. Yes. So how much is it for you to make it and how much is it to sell it? Um, we've got a really good rate with um, our courier. We get overnight delivery anywhere in Australia. Um, for $12. I'm sorry, $12 for what? So you deliver it to your door. I'm assuming it's for... For anything up to uh, a pack of 24. So one, it's 12 so we don't bucks. sell one, so the minimum order you can spend is four. Can you give us some numbers we can work with respect to how much money you're making? So retail the jars for $8 online. So $8 per jar? Correct. The cake itself, labelled, fully packaged, for me to produce is $1.90. So this, this whole package is $1.90? Correct. Right. Do you charge delivery on top of it or is it included in the price? The customer pays for delivery. I've got a question for Naomi. Is that what people are spending on gifting? It's expensive, isn't it? Is that what consumers will pay? Yeah, they will. It's about A, quality, 
And as long as it, they deliver on that customer promise, people will pay that and probably even more. Okay. If you like a beautifully produced cake, you know, they're $80. 80, 80 bucks for a cake? Hey, James, I thought it was very nice. I'll, I'll eat anyone's plum pudding, to be honest, the Maggie beers especially. Um, I, I think it's bloody fantastic. Tell it, James, I'll, uh, I'll give you a few less decisions to make. I think it's quite high for what you get, uh, regardless what Naomi said. Mate, it's not one for me. Uh, I wish you all the best. Well done. I'm out. OK, thanks, Steve. James, don't ever listen to what Steve says about pricing. If you value it too cheaply, then people won't think it's a quality product. Well, it is a gourmet product, yeah. Yeah, and if I'm going to send something as a gift, you want to make sure that that person feels that they've got something really special. So pricing is more than just what it costs you. It's about the perceived value. Yeah. Tell me where we're going to be in about three years from now if I give you 50 cut. We'll be uh, sitting around the 1.3 mil mark and then going further to $2 million probably in year three. All right, so you're doing 1.5 million in three years' time. Yes. You're going to pay yourself an obnoxious salary and I get no profit, or how's this going to work? Yeah, how do you support yourself? Yeah, you know, I'll do it on a shoestring and I'll live off, you know, a couple hundred bucks a week. Are you living at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how old are you now? 26. Good on you. Wow, that's impressive. Thank you very much. Business is a combination of character and strategy, and you've got so much character. I'm not sure about the strategy, though. Do like the product, but it's not for me this time. I'm sorry I'm out. Good luck. Thanks, Shane. Appreciate it. James, I'm um, struggling with this whole thing. You, you know, my favourite gift in a bottle is called wine. <laughs> <laughs> This is really just another version of, of a bottle of wine that you're going to give to someone. But I just can't get my head around when it's cake in a bottle, basically. So for that reason, I'm out. OK, appreciate that. So two sharks left. I have to tell you, a lot of entrepreneurs come in here and they don't have the answers to the questions. And you do. It's amazing. Thanks, Andrew. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you 50,000 for 20%. I'll give you 50,000 because of you. I'd like to just see where your journey's going. Thank you, Andrew, I can't appreciate it. That's fantastic, thank you so much. I have an obvious distribution model for your product. And I'm just beginning to think if maybe I would work with Andrew if we both gave the same deal and took 40% together. Seriously, James, you only want one shark. You, you, these two working together, it's like oil and water. Um, so the deal you're offering is 100 grand for 40% stake. Yeah, she's suggesting that instead of you taking $50,000 from me for 20%, that you take $100,000 for 40%. Okay. I'd love to work with you, but I think you're fantastic. Um, would, you, would you take 10% um, each, 25 grand each? I must admit, it's, it, over the years, it's become increasingly hard to work for small percentages. Yep. OK. Would you do it at 30? $50,000 for 30%. So we're really giving him two lots of $50,000 for 15% each, 30%. I'm happy to do that. You happy to do that? Are you, are you okay with it? I want, a, I want a happy business partner if I'm going to move forward. You want to do that? Yes, let's do we'll it. do that deal. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know where that drive comes from, but I'm going to find out. And I like it. We want to bottle that and much use it. Thanks, Andrew. Well done. Have a good day, guys. See yeah. you soon. Go Strawberries and cream. Appreciate it, guys. Take everything no, you want. don't eat the yeah. profit. You're eating our profit, Steve. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the donation. Got a deal. Pumped. So pumped. First into the tank tonight is a brother-sister-sister -sister team with a business that's taking on one of the sharks at their own game. Samantha. Wait, Hi, I'm coming. Hey, I'm Samantha. I'm Rose. And I'm Kesa. And we're three siblings from Sydney who are here to offer the sharks a sweet deal that they won't be able to resist. Our product is an absolute game changer and it's going to disrupt the entire gift-giving industry. 
So more orders means we need a bigger warehouse, especially for our big occasions where we were at capacity this year. Um, so we're looking at moving as soon as we can. You want some laham bhaji? I do. We've worked hard to be able to retire our parents and do the best for the next generation. I need a holiday. <laughs> We'd love a deal with the Sharks because we're ready to expand our business nationally and internationally. We've been discussing which shark we would go with, but to be honest, every one of those sharks has built an empire. So we would be open to any shark wanting to join our little Lebanese family. So possible. we're looking for a sibling and an investor. Yes. Hey sharks, my name's Samantha. I'm Rose. And I'm Kesa. And together we're three siblings from Sydney who are the founders and owners of dessertboxes.com.au, an online dessert gift giving store here to innovate and disrupt the gift giving industry. We're here seeking $300,000 in exchange for a 10% share in our business. And here is your own surprise dessert box delivery. All right. Hey, 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 who gets it first? <laughs> Thank you very much. Squeaky wheel gets the most oil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank so dessert you. boxes was born out of our frustration of just having to send and receive boring gifts that will end up dying, being thrown away, never Thank used or at best re-gifted. So we took it upon ourselves to create dessert boxes and donut bouquets as a fun alternative to gifts and to begin our war against boring gifts. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Mine says, we don't know what we would do without you. <laughs> Mine says, donut, give up on us. Oh. <laughs> Mine's just straight up, want to give us some dough. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, don't go break an our heart. Oh. Stephen, with the program, yours says some words. Um. We like you a whole lot. Oh, it does not say that. It does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Through our use of social media, we've been able to build an engaged community of over 130,000 people and sell over 30,000 boxes in Sydney oh. in our first year alone. And we've recently just expanded the brand into Melbourne. So, Sharks, who wants to be our fourth adopted sibling and help us expand this all around Australia and the world? Nah, well done on the pitch. Fantastic. Um, sorry, I put that down. <laughs> um, 300 grand, 10%, 3 million bucks. Good valuation. Yep. Well done. You're a family. Why would you start this business as a family? What was the deal there? We're first generation Australian. Um, our parents migrated from Lebanon 35 years ago with not a single dollar in their pocket. And for us, we've always known we've wanted to give back to our parents and show them that the sacrifice that they made for us was worth it at the end. So we left our corporate jobs. Um, we always knew we were going to do something together. We didn't know what, though. So what were the corporate jobs? So I was a HR and IR manager. I was a marketing coordinator. And I've got operations background. Oh, so that was very you went convenient. out and practised elsewhere before you started your own job. Very great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> so why are you taking on a partner that's not family? Because, you know, that could cause some challenges. We've had this argument, I mean, no, this conversation on numerous occasions, and we're very much aware that we only know what we know, but more than anything, we know each one of you knows how to run a business. For us, it's not necessarily the extensive backgrounds that you may have in those certain areas, but it's how do you get a business from where we started, in a garage, to where it can be, which is what we want to be on a global scale. Take us through the numbers, can you? In our first year of business for dessert boxes, we did just over $2 million in sales. Nice. How much? Two million. Just um, say that slowly, will you? <laughs> Two million yes. dollars. Come on. You've got to let it hang. <laughs> From that, we grossed 1.25 and we netted $810,000. <laughs> How is you like them apples? OK, that's looking more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> now Just you've got our attention. I'm now listening. We should have started with that. <laughs> so, so calendar year 2018, what are we going to do? Yeah, so, so for our second year of business, um, we're forecasting to make just a little over six million. Oh, come on um, now. Because come we are launching now. into Melbourne, which we've launched last month, right. and we're also planning to launch into Queensland. Impressive first year in business. That's phenomenal. So what is not working? What are your weaknesses that you're hoping one of us may help you with? Yeah, so growth has always been stagnant. So it took us 12 months to move from Sydney to Melbourne, where we anticipated it was going to be on, three you've months. Just done, you've done two million in <laughs> sales in your first year. We're into your second year and you're worried about growth. We're very ambitious. Cash in the bank? Currently? Yeah, yeah. Do you mean in terms of... How what? much cash do you have in the bank? 1.4. 1.4 bricks in the bank right now. What are you doing here? <laughs> 
Who's your competitor? Well, we, we see anybody in the gift giving industry as a competitor of ours, and we've and why been... Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> You know, there are a lot of other companies out there that deliver boxes of stuff. What, why are you winning so well? Well, look, we're constantly innovating. Um, so we definitely do things not only better, but we definitely do it differently. So, for example, we've launched a finger where you can send somebody the finger to let them know what you really think of Seriously? them. Seriously? Show me a finger. I would like to I see, want to a, see finger. a finger. Leave it close so you get the element of surprise. Okay. <laughs> Give us a look. <laughs> Show us. No. <laughs> <laughs> to the dearest fans oh, TV. No. <laughs> 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 there you go. Oh. <laughs> very nice. I'll take Just that. For Thank you. you very much. Oh, the finger. <laughs> You're all shareholders, equal shareholders? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll give you 300,000 for 25%. I want to be an equal shareholder. I'll make you an offer. Uh, $300,000 for 20%. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make you an offer, which is $300,000 for 15%. I've got four million gifters. And I just know that there's many gifting occasions that we don't serve them on, and I really think that we could therefore be very complimentary. Thank you. I am happy to throw an offer out there. So we've got a network of pet stores to, what, 300, a network of vet hospitals to 200. What's that got to do with their business? <laughs> What are you going to do for Fast, them? They can do a doggy box. Let tools. him speak. Let him have his say. Come on. So what I've done is make sure we have great tools to manage growth, and that's what I'll apply here. And by the way, since the noisy one beside me is annoying me, I will match her offer. Ooh. So 300k for 15%. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, but if you're going out of control, you're going to blow it up. Yeah. And then there was Steve. I want to make money out of you, be quite blunt. Um, I'll make you an offer at uh, 300k for 10%. Uh, I'm going to treat it like a strict financial investment. If you make a lot of money, I'll make a lot of money. There you go, about as mercenary as you get. So let's just summarise where we're at. Steve has offered you what you asked for, 300,000 for 10%. Janine has offered you 20%. I've offered you 25%. And Glenn and Naomi have offered you 15%. So you've got five offers. Well done. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> the sharks are really circling. Can we have you all? <laughs> no. No. Definitely not. We don't play well together. We tear each other apart. Do you need to have a chat? Yeah, yes, Do you mind if we have a... Don't Thank take you. too long. No, don't take too long. <laughs> Choppy waters. <laughs> I believe them. I think they'll. I think they'll go over three million next year. How about Glenn, Andrew, or Janine, or is it just between Naomi and Steve? I feel like it's between Naomi and Steve, and I'm leaning more towards Naomi. You cannot deny their sales and their profit. I mean, seriously. Bloody good, right? Crank the handle, turn the money out. Spit. Spit dollars out. But I'm leaning towards Steve. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. Steve because he just wants to make money. Yeah. Yeah. It's Naomi. Like she owns Red Balloon. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for your offers. We actually were not expecting you all, so it was a really tough decision. Let's just summarise where we're at. Steve has offered you what you asked for, 300,000 for 10%. Janine has offered you 20%. I've offered you 25%. And Glenn and Naomi have offered you 15%. So what are you going to do? Samantha, you're the decision maker <laughs> well, here. I this, is, this is when it's not her decision. We wanted to ask Naomi what she thought about Steve. Would you accept 12%? What about my offer? <laughs> You're way out of the money, Andrew. I think that means I'm, I've got to you... know. <laughs> You're way out of the money. We 
really want you to be our sister. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best investment you'll make. <laughs> OK. I'm in. Welcome to the family. Oh, my gosh! I've got three oh. of siblings! Such an obvious play. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you got two off a set. She's got an amazing hit. Right, right, you'll be all right. Darling, guys. Good job. Thank yeah, you've done a great job today. Well done. Well done. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, well done. All the best. Thank you. That was going to be three times cash, maybe maybe two times cash. Yeah. So that so, was, that was a, a bloody good deal. I'm gutted. <laughs> Five sharks fighting over us is actually a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so confident now. <laughs> if you could syndicate people and then say, I want to buy 10% of all the money you make in the next 30 years, I would have bought shares in those three. Finally have another sister. <laughs> I've, got another, I've got a big sister. <laughs> Next into the tank is a savvy 17-year-old who's not letting school get in the way of his sweet entrepreneurial dreams. My ultimate goal for my business is to be a household name throughout the world. Age is no barrier. Cool pants. <laughs> Hi Sharks, my name is Morgan Hipworth. I'm 17 years old and I'm the owner and founder of Bistro Morgan, an artisan donut store based in Melbourne. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Today I'm here for $200,000 in exchange for 20% equity in my business. Bistro Morgan was born when I was 13 years old and I started supplying a cafe with local goods. From there, things just kind of blew up. I was featured in numerous media outlets, and a whole whirlwind of opportunities came at me. I ended up supplying around 20 cafes around Melbourne until I was absolutely desperate on a permanent store. And my parents being, you know, parents, they were like, no, you're not allowed a permanent store till you're out of school. <laughs> so we came to a compromise that, how about we do a pop-up store? And before they knew, I was on the phone to real estate agents and had already <laughs> sorted out a location for my store. And the eight days went so well, we ended up selling over 10,000 donuts in oh those eight days. Oh my goodness. So from there, the store came up for permanent lease. I eventually convinced my parents after many arguments at the dinner table. <laughs> and the store's been open around 15 months now. We continue to supply around 10 to 20 cafes and dessert bars around Melbourne. So yeah, it's, you know, keeps me busy as well as being in year 12 in high school. So I'm in my final year of school. So I think now's a good time to maybe try some of the dough. Oh, oh well done. Done. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. Well done. Amazing. Now, face up the goods. Yeah, let's yeah. try them. Let's yeah. try, let's try right. them. <laughs> so we got our cookie monster, which is filled with cake batter. This is our class clown, which is filled with chocolate hazelnut and then Kit Kat and marshmallow. A Bruno Mars, which is Mars bar and salted caramel. Triple T's, which is choc hazelnut. Tim Tam, <laughs> date night, which is white chocolate, popcorn, caramel, and choc hazelnut, and then our gay time crunch, which is based off the ice cream, the golden gay time, and made into a donut. My favourite. I'll have that one in the middle there, this one here. Thank you. The class clown. Me. Class clown. That kind of suits uh, you. I'll take the middle one. Yeah. Thank you. See, you? and that's got cake batter in it. Cake batter. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well you you gotta, you're gonna knock and, yourself and out. You, knock yourself out. You right? sell it with a syringe. Yeah, too. exactly it right. It. Tastes really good. And who comes up with the recipes? So you were, are asking for 200000 yep. for 20%, valuing yep. your business at $1 million. That's right. Quite That's that not a bad one. ask for a 17-year-old. When you did that $10,000 worth of sales, how 10,000 donuts. 10,000 10, 10, donuts? Yeah, and the donuts are five fifty each for retail. Oh. Oh. 55000 on your opening weekend in a oh, pop-up. Opening at eight days, yeah. It must have shut mum and dad down, did it? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I work about 60 hours a week on the business, and oh, then I'm also in, full. In school. <laughs> Take me through your day. A normal day? OK, so a normal day would be I get up around 4, 4.30, um, head down to the shop, get some of the orders and the wholesale orders out, and then from there I'll head off to school, and I get in, get all my homework done in recess. So I try and work through all my recesses, all my lunch breaks. You're working harder than most people I know. Amazing. Yeah. When do you have fun? This is fun. Oh, good This is what good I answer. absolutely oh, love. great answer. <laughs> So can we do the, your current financial performance first? 
So our total revenue for last calendar year was $500,000, with net profit 130. Wow. This year? Four, yeah, four houses, 850,000, and then three to 350 profit. Could you clarify for us what you're going to spend the 200000 on? Yeah, I'd love to have Bistro Morgan flagship stores. Our product is one of those that people will travel for. Listen, uh, Morgan, I I'm already a shareholder in a pretty substantial national donut business, and I'm, I'm not sure I'm the right partner for you to scale this next stage. I think you are a force of nature. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank you. But I'm out. No worries. And Morgan, um, you know, for a middle-aged guy who's trying to keep his weight down, I'm really <coughs> concerned about this product. <laughs> Dangerous, <laughs> eh? <laughs> That's a good answer. What I notice about my investments lately in the food space is they are in health and wellness products. Yeah. So for me, I'm out. Yeah, no worries. Morgan, I think you're at such a delight Thank and you. such an energy, and um, I'm sure your parents are incredibly proud of Thanks. you, yeah. and they should be. Uh, it's not an obvious fit for me in terms of the value that I can add. For this deal, I'm out. No worries. Morgan, if there was one person in Australia... Yeah whose business you love, that you'd love to spend an hour with, who would that be? Um, Janine Ellis. There we go. Oh, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate, you can have that. So, I'll make you a deal. I will offer you 200,000 for 42%. Oh, <laughs> bottom feeder. Come on, he's a The reason he's being is, this oh. is going to take me a lot more time, so I'm actually valuing in my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> he's a miner, he can't deal inappropriately with miners. What are you doing? Come on now. <laughs> hey? Well, you in or out, Steve? Well, so, um, the deal I was looking at was uh, $200,000 for 30%. So just to summarise, Janine's offered you 200,000 for 42%. Steve has offered you 200,000 for 30%. Is 12% of the business worth the expertise Mate, 42 that I've brought? 42 is horrible. You, you cannot do... Four, I, I ban you. I, I forbid you from doing 42. Is 12% worth the 20 years' experience that I can bring to you during this business? Morgan has landed two sharks willing to invest $200,000 in his donut empire. But they want a much bigger bite of the business than Morgan's proposed 20% stake, with Steve offering 30% and Janine sitting on 42%. I can't... I, I couldn't bear to give away 42% of my own sort of... You're not giving it away. No, no, I know, no, no, that's uh, not, I'm not, I don't mean give I'm away. I'm buying it I know, and I know, also I know. I'm giving you my time. I know, I know. She's ruthless. I think that's yeah. a no. She's ruthless. Make a counter Can you do it any better? I'm at 30%, mate. I'm at 30%. May I go back and have a chat with my mum and my dad? Absolutely. All right, no worries. I'll be back. Have a chat. Thanks. I'm not to. <laughs> Janine, he's not going to give you 42%. Well, he can come back for the counter. Hmm? You're worthless. I think you need to speak yeah. to Dad. Yeah? Hey, it's me. Hi. Oh, good mate. We've got two offers. We've got one from Janine Ellis um, yes. for the 200000 but it's for 42%. I yeah. think you know how I feel about that. Yeah. And then we've got one from Steve for 30%. I think that they're getting uh, something pretty easy. That you've got to stick with 20%. Uh, you don't move from that. Here he okay. comes. Here we go. Oh, his mum. 
Ah. Mum's crazy. I can see it. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. You are? I'm Ali. I'm Ali. Morgan's mum. Hi, Ali. Uh, How are you? Good, thank proud. you. A proud mum indeed. Yes, yeah, it keeps us busy. It keeps <laughs> you busy. <laughs> and challenged. And yeah. challenged. But yeah, we just call my dad as well. Oh, well, good. Yeah. So you consulted the board, I get that. We did. Yeah. So just to remind you, Janine's offered you 200,000 for 42% of your business. Yeah. And Steve has offered you 200,000 for 30% of your business. So what are you going to do? So we've had a bit of a chat. My dad's pretty firm. <laughs> uh, so he thinks that I'm a worthwhile investment as such. So would any of you be willing to do anything for 20? 20% 20 a no. I will do 33%. I know this. I have lived every up, every down, every tier. So I think you're getting me cheap for 33. Steve, are you going to revise your offer? Um, I'm not. Cha I'm not changing my offer. Okay. So what are you going to do? Morgan, you're allowed to counter. Yeah. Janine, would you do 25 percent, please? Just go into the 20s. Please, oh. Janine. That, it's... Don't get on your knees, whatever you do. <laughs> I want to do the deal with you, but for, for me, I'm, I'm not prepared to move at all. If you walk away from here, I will still spend time with you. I don't want you to feel that it's bad. Yeah. I actually know that what I've offered is actually a good deal, yeah. but I don't want you feeling that. So you've got me either way, but you can have me as an equity holder yeah. or you can have me as a mentor. Yeah. Okay, well, um, unfortunately, we don't feel comfortable going above the 20% mark at this point in time. I, I can't go yeah, below. Yeah, that's okay. But I will still spend time with you. Yeah. We would love to take you up on having a you know, relationship. Mate, you've got me. <laughs> and who knows, I may be an equity partner. Yeah, it's no. way down the track. Right. But I will definitely, definitely, Thank definitely you. be catching up. Thank you, Janine. Well done. Congratulations. Thank Amazing no worries, presentation. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, well done. Thank you. Great Thank to meet you. Thank you so much. So, Morgan, well done. Go out of here proud of what you've done. Thank Bye. you so much, guys. Bye. 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 Take care. Thanks, Morgan. He would have been better off having you as a partner and he will grow faster. No, so, no. Thank I you, Andrew. We'll I find, agree with that. I think he will find he will do OK. I'll help him. I'm real happy to have Janine as a mentor. She's got so Fantastic. much experience in the food sector and it's just absolutely amazing to just pick her brains. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>